my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and in today's Sunday Reset, we're cleaning. That's just like, I have my cleaning hat on and we are cleaning, like head down cleaning. Um, the house is not that bad out in like the great room area, but like my bedroom is a hot mess. I don't know what's happening with my hair. It looked like I had like chest hair going on here. Um, I was actually gonna take today off. Today is Sunday. Today is the day before Labor Day. When you see this, it will be next weekend. I was gonna take today off and I was just gonna throw my hair up in a bun and like clean without filming, but I decided not to do that. Sorry, I had to pause to talk to Michaela as she was leaving and I have no idea what I was saying. I think I was saying I wasn't gonna film today, but I decided to film today. I like to be one week ahead in my Sunday resets because it gives me more time to edit throughout the week. And last week was very rough for me. I'm just gonna have a little like, uh, you know, um, behind the veil moment, if you will, of a content creator who works full time and has a lot of responsibilities. Last week was very rough for me. Last week was our first week back with students. My kids were back in school. Danny was back with students. Like it was, it was a rough go. We had literally sports every single night um there were there was a day last week that i didn't get home i left my house to go to work at 6 30 and i didn't get home until eight so it, it was a very long day um my eye is watering like crazy i'm sorry i'm like checking to see if i have makeup all over my eyeball i'm not crying you're gonna hear danny mo in the lawn the lawn looks like absolute trash my garden has gone <laughs> by the wayside like I'm looking at the flowers out of my deck that are dead it is what it is and I am giving myself grace however I am one of those people that has a lot of stress when like my my area is undone and when I am like I haven't cleaned my bathroom in so long my bedroom has become a dumping ground again after I just cleaned it I the garage is a hot mess Danny's working on that today like the laundry room, it has become a dumping ground. Like there are things that I just need to do. And Danny's like, give more to the kids. And they do, the kids help. Michaela works, the kids have been jam packed with sports. I'm sorry for the lawnmower, but not sorry, cause it's gotta happen. But my goal today is just to clean, to clean all the things. We have dinner at my mother-in-law's tonight. So I'll pause and go do that. And then I'll finish when I get home. But the bottom line is for my own mental health and sanity, I need to get on top of things. So I need to get back to filming a week in advance. So that's what we're doing. I finished filming this week, Sunday Reset. I'm, it's Sunday when I'm filming this and I'm like back on the Sunday groove. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna clean, hope you're here for it. If you're feeling overwhelmed with life, like me, if you're just in a, sorry, my nose always itches when I start talking. It's like, it never fails. If you're in a season of life that just feels overwhelming, like I am, where it's just a lot of things happening all at once, whether that's your family, your job, um, your health, whatever it is, um, are all of the above, like me. <laughs> I'm in one of those boats where it's all of the above. I found this really great groove over the summer where I was taking care of myself and I was feeling better and I don't wanna let that go by the wayside. So the other night I chose to work out and enjoy that over editing and getting a video out that day, I put it out the next day and it, it, I have to, have to prioritize myself, right? And I know you guys would want that from me. You're always so incredibly kind and supportive. So I appreciate that. I know that you would have said, Tiffany, take care of yourself. You always do. So thank you for all of the support always. Uh, today, let's just, if you're in the same place as I am, let's just get some stuff done. Let's just get it done. A lot of times I will pre pick up an area if it's really, really bad. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but there are times where I like pre pick up because it's embarrassing when it goes to bleep, uh, but it has gone to bleep in, in my bedroom and I'm not going to pre clean it. We're just going it, to, it's just going to be what it is. And uh, <laughs> sorry in advance. Um, for the way that it looks, it just, it is what it is. And this is not a model home. We live here and it gets messy and that's okay. That's all right. Um, also, I have had an infestation of these big giant ants. I don't know where they're coming from. I feel like I have killed like 10 a day. They are 
giant. They're like this, I mean, they're the biggest ants I've ever seen in my life. Um, and I don't know where they're coming from or why they're wrecking havoc on my house, but they are. I'm looking at one right now. It's a lot of intro, I know, and Danny is just mowing the lawn right here, so it's loud. Uh, but we're gonna just get into this. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your continued support, always. I'm excited for this week. I feel like I have a better plan and mindset. I know what I'm going into this week. I feel like I can better prepare myself for that. And I'm ready to just get ahead of the game. It's a long weekend. I had four days this weekend and I still have tomorrow. So let's get into it. Thanks for being here. To get us started today, I'm moving into our laundry room and I'm going to work in here for a little while. This I've talked about so many times. This is such a drop zone for us when it comes to clothes, things that need to get, you know, either put away out in the garage, moved to a car, taken out of the house, filed, returned. You know, anything anybody doesn't know where it goes, it comes to live in the laundry room. So this definitely just gets messy. I'm going to start here by restocking our uh, laundry detergent. So I've got OxyClean here. I use OxyClean for so many things. One, we love to strip our bed sheets, our shoes, um, towels by filling up the bathtub with really hot water and some OxyClean and letting them soak. And they will, it'll strip out all the dirt. Does such an incredible job. I'll have to show you guys that one Sunday reset. And I'm also refilling our laundry detergent. I bought these clear containers on Amazon. I will link them for you down below. I actually think they're already linked down there in every video, but I love these because they're easy to pour and they're easy to see what is inside, which is the number one reason why I bought it. So I just, you know, quick glance, hey kiddos, I'm doing my groceries. Can you tell me if we need laundry soap? They can just open it up and take a look and it's super easy to see what needs to be replenished. Plus it just looks really nice in the cabinet. I also have this little drop zone basket here on top of the dryer again, where things just go when we don't know where else they need to go. <laughs> I've got a mug there that is for coins that I find in the washer or dryer, but everything else just kind of lives there until I find another place for it. So grabbing our clean clothes to go put away, I'm taking a second to wipe down the counter and the top of our washer and dryer. These get dusty and I kind of forget about them. So just giving them a quick wipe down. You can probably hear the congestion in my voice today. We have had so much pollen. It is that transitional season again and the weather's been nice. Everything is in bloom again. So uh, just trying to handle allergies and it has been terrible. My eyes have been so watery, but we're dealing with it. We're coping with it. So just going to get this space cleaned up, vacuumed up, and then we'll move on to the next. The runner that I have for the laundry room is from Walmart. It's a really nice little easy runner. It's thin and I can just pop it in the wash, which is great because it does get used every day when we come in and out of the garage. So I just popped that into the washing machine and we'll get that nice and clean and that will make this space feel really, really fresh. And I'm so glad I got this space cleaned up. Anytime I'm feeling overwhelmed with the way my house is, I always start in the laundry room because it is the drop zone. I know that once I get this space picked up, 
I'll feel so much better. And I was already feeling better after getting this done. And now we're going to work our way from the front of the house into the back of the house. So I'm moving into our entryway and I'm just going to clean off our storm door. I've talked about our storm door before. This is an interchangeable storm door. So it's glass, but then I can take the glass off and put the uh, screen on, which is great. So when it's nice and cool outside, I can open the windows back in the family room and put the screen here. And it just creates a really nice, nice draft uh, coming through the house. So as we move into these cooler months, that will definitely be happening more, happening more often. I can't wait for that. So just going to give this a quick clean. I'm using, um, a glass cleaner, I can't remember what it's called. Best glass cleaner, I don't remember. I'll link it for you down below. This stuff is the best. I buy it on Amazon, but you can find it anywhere. You can get it on at Target, at Walmart, at Home Depot, literally anywhere, but it is such a great streak-free clean. I use it on all my mirrors and uh, windows, glass, it's just great. I'm also going to use some carpet deodorizer. I use the Arm & Hammer carpet deodorizer and I'm putting it down on this rug. Let it sit for a little while. It's going to pull all of the odor out of your carpet and then you can vacuum it up. And the rug from our bathroom, I'm also going to bring into the laundry room. I put it in the basket that'll get washed as well and that will get nice and clean. So just getting all the rugs that I can cleaned up again, just trying to do some overall speed cleaning, making the space feel put back together again and not feeling embarrassed if someone came to my door and wanted to come inside for a cup of coffee. I have mentioned uh, time and time before that I struggle with arth arthritis in my hands and my feet. Unfortunately, it's just, it is what it is and it is degenerative. So, you know, every day, you know, it's just going to get a tiny bit worse and that's okay. I learned to live with it, but I was having a lot of pain in my feet and my podiatrist said, you have to invest in some good running sneakers because that's what's going to help your feet feel better. And so I finally did. I finally bit the bullet. I invested in a pair of Hoka's. They are definitely pricey. I don't like to spend that much money on a pair of shoes for sure, but I have worn them every day since I got them and I love them and they make a gigantic difference in the way that my feet feel at the end of the day, as well as my back. And I've been trying really hard to get my 10,000 steps a day, just being very active and doing that, I'm putting a lot of stress on my feet. And so having these nicer shoes has made a really big difference and I've got a lot of compliments on them. So that's fun. I don't think that they're you know, ugly by any means. It's just, I'm not used to wearing a sneaker. I really am kind of a flip-flop gal. I definitely love my Crocs, uh, but having a shoe that I can wear that makes my feet uh, feel supported and comfortable, they've got like a little bounce to them. It's wonderful. So 
I have been living in these shoes. And if you struggle with feet problems, get yourself a good pair of sneakers. My podiatrist said Hoka's are the best on the market right now. Uh, that may just be his opinion. I don't know, but my daughter ha- got a pair last Christmas and she wears them every day to work as a CNA. So um, she loves them and I am now a believer as well. I had gathered together some clothes that were not fitting Ryan, my littlest, anymore. So I put together a little bag for his little best friend who lives next door, who's uh, just a little bit smaller than he is. He's about a year younger than him. So I had brand new t-shirts that I bought him for the new school year that he grew out of. He had a little growth spurt right before school started, of course. So I'm just putting all those things into a bag for him and those will go to his house. Is it starting to feel anywhere near fall where you live? It definitely is here every morning. It's been chilly. There was even a day where we were down almost in the 30s. It was pretty crazy, but uh, it's been really nice. It's warming up this week. We we're supposed to be somewhere in the 80s this week, but all of last week we were in the low 70s and all the mornings were chilly. We're at that transitional time where you've got to start the day with a sweater, but end the day in a t-shirt and it's just been really nice. Lots and lots of trees are already starting to change their colors and we're just, you know, watching it slowly move into the cooler seasons. I like this transitional time. There will come a point in October where it just peaks and then bam, it's like winter all of a sudden, all the leaves fall off and it is winter. So I'm trying not to rush it and just enjoying every day, you know, the little bit more that we get. It's really, really nice. going to take a second to refill my Nespresso pods. Danny got me an espresso last Christmas. Maybe it was my birthday, but I feel like it was Christmas. And I am in love with that thing. I use it every single day, sometimes twice a day. I absolutely love it. So I'm refilling my Nespresso pods and I thought that I had more of his K-Cups, uh, the Pete's K-Cups, but I realized we were out. So needed to get some of those. I added them to the grocery list. I try to buy them at BJ's because the big box is uh, much more affordable than buying little itty bitty boxes, but definitely needed to go grab some before the start of the week. Here's a look at our great room put back together. I was feeling so much better about this. And now we're gonna move into my bedroom. 
It's a train wreck. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it is what it is though. We're going to start off by getting the bed made and I'm just kind of picking up as we go and I've got laundry going. I've got a blanket down there on the floor. Charlie has been struggling to climb up and down out of our bed and we're going to have to get our little steps. Um, but I don't want her to get used to that yet. If she can still hop up, I was trying to let her, but I think we've reached that point where she's going to need some little steps. So she's been sleeping down on the floor in that old comforter that we have there. That was Michaela's old comforter. She's been sleeping in that, which has been kind of nice for us because she has quite the bed hog for a little dog and she loves to lay right behind your knees, which can make it, you know, hot at night. So I haven't minded her being on the floor, but as you can see, she is attached to me. She will follow me everywhere. It's either her or a cat always I've got somebody following me around. So she's been sleeping down there on the floor. We can't buy her a dog bed because she will destroy it. She pulls all the stuffing out. So a comforter, she won't do a blanket. She loves, but uh, an actual dog bed, she will destroy. This is a little bit later on in the night. Notice I have the lights on now, but we had left to go to dinner at my mother-in-law's. And then when we got home, we were doing bedtime and getting the kids ready for back to school. And I didn't film any of that. So I just... Uh, got them taken care of. Danny did some picking up here in the bedroom while we were doing that. And then now I am getting laundry folded and I've got one side of the bed over there with Danny's clothes. The other side over here, I'm going to do the kids clothes, just trying to organize as we go. Lots of laundry always. And we try to get it all put away before the start of the school week. It doesn't always happen, but we do our best and we were able to get pretty much caught up. Now I'm just gonna take a couple of minutes. I headed out to the garage. It was late at this point, probably somewhere around 8.30, but I really, really wanted to vacuum out my car and get my car ready. I have been loving doing this. It's been really enjoyable to have a nice, clean, like well taken care of car. It's been a long time since I've had a nice car. So this has been really, really nice. So I'm just grabbing this little tiny shop vac that we have in our garage and I'm just going to give it a quick vacuum and we'll dust it off and then it's ready to go. I can't believe it's already the start of another week. I picked up this duster on Amazon and I keep it here in my glove box because I have so much black interior. I try just to dust it off whenever it gets dusty and it's been really helpful to keep it clean in here. So thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. I hope that you found some motivation to check some things off of your list. Get yourself ready for the new week. They sure do fly by and it just feels so good to go into the week with a clean space and a clean mind and a plan to tackle anything. So thank you for joining me today. If you aren't subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe and come back for more. I post three new videos every single week and 
I would love to see you in the next one. So take care, my friends, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.